Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have a WTA 500 event this week at the Kremlin Cup in Moscow, Russia. It's a big tournament on the women's tour, and it's the final massive tournament before the end of the season finals. The WTA finals happening in Mexico in a couple of weeks' time. Let's go to the withdrawal list, though, because some big names have actually pulled out of this event. So let's have a look at the players that have withdrawn. We've got Andrescu. She's pulled out. Badosa also pulled out after making the final at Indian Wells. Bencic, Collins, Martic, Mertens, and Raducanu, the US Open champion, has also pulled out of this one. Starting at the top of the draw, and we have eight seeds in this one, with the top four seeds getting a bye in the first round. Sabalenka, she's already qualified for the WTA Finals, but she is the number one seed, getting a wild card into this one. She'll play the winner of Samsonova and Tomjanovic, who are going at it in the first round. Then we have Kazakina versus Kalanina. Winner of that plays Alexandrova, or the number five seed Jabor, who is fighting it out for a WTA final spot. Another player that's fighting for a spot is the number three seed, Sakri. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll play the winner of Yastremska versus a qualifier, who are going at it in the first round. Then we got Kudamatova taking on another qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Potapova or the number eight seed, Halep, in the second round. Players you've got to watch out for, obviously Sabalenka. We didn't see her at Indian Wells because she tested positive for COVID, so she had to pull out of the event. But keeping an eye on her this week to get some much needed form going into the end of the year finals. Also, Sakari, a lot on the line for her, trying to make her first WTA finals. And Jabor also in the same boat as Sakari, trying to get into the WTA finals. So a lot on the line this week for those names. Second half of the draw now, we've got the number seven seed, Rabakina, taking on Von Drusen in the first round. That is a big first round matchup. Circle that as one to watch in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Contivate or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got two qualifiers going at it in the first round. Winner of that match will take on the number four seed, Pavlyuchenkova, who is also fighting out for a WTA final spot. So a lot on the line for her at home. Number six seed, Kerba, she takes on Siniakova. Winner of that match takes on either Ostapenko or Petkovic in the second round. Then we've got another qualifier in this part of the draw taking on Martin Kova. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Muguruza. So the players to watch out for, you've got to keep an eye on the two big seeds, Muguruza and Pavlichenkova. Both players playing for WTA final spots. Muguruza is almost qualified, so a good result here will get her into those finals. But Pavlichenkova, she's going to have to probably get to the final or win this event to really stamp her mark on the WTA finals. And Kerber, got to keep an eye on Kerber. She has a slim chance of making the WTA finals, so if she performs well this week, who knows? We could be talking about her next week in the ranking show. So there you have it. A stacked event with a lot of big names and a lot on the line this week. The final big event worth a lot of points in terms of the WTA finals coming up this week with a lot of contenders. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this event? It's a WTA event. We know that we found out, I guess, last week with Indian Wells that anything can happen in the WTA. And a lot of players have got a lot on the line, even though they're big names. Someone could come out of the woodworks and win this match or win this tournament out of nowhere. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win? Taking a look at the draw, and I think that I'm going to go with Muguruza to win this one. I think the number two seed can get through. She was unlucky last week. She was in great form going into Indian Wells and then ended up losing really early on. So I think after a bad loss there, I think she'll rebound and do well at this event. So I'm going to go with Muguruza to get the win. And then that way, she'll be qualifying for the WTA Finals as well. Again, let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win. So a WTA 500 event in Moscow, Russia, with a lot on the line in terms of WTA Finals.